After the dismissal of 22 cabinet secretaries today, well, the president in his speech this afternoon failed to give timelines within which to expect a new cabinet. But our reporter, Sheila Chalangat, dives into what the constitution provides for, as well as the measures put in place by the president to ensure a smooth running of government. Our cabinet secretaries who have been appointed and sworn in this morning. To all of you, I have had the occasion to congratulate you personally. Thursday marked one year, eight months and 15 days since assuming office of the 22 cabinet secretaries dismissed today. A move the president said came after a reflection and after listening to Kenyans, a first for a president in power to dismiss his cabinet after the 2010 constitution was promulgated. The operations of government will continue uninterrupted under the guidance of principal secretaries and other relevant officials. And although he pegged the dismissal of the CSS on Article 152 of the Constitution, it remains vague on the timelines within which another cabinet would be appointed. The Constitution has, uh, not, is not very specific as to how long the president will take, so he can take his time. But uh, obviously he needs the, it is also necessary that the country is run in terms of the constitution with a cabinet in place. So we expect the president to move with speed and within reasonable time be able to constitute his cabinet. Well aware that uh, when he constitutes this cabinet, if he appoints new cabinet secretaries, they'll have to go through parliamentary vetting and this uh, will take some time. So uh, in terms of the constitution to say the specific number of days have not been provided. So he has time to, to constitute his cabinet. The last time a similar occurrence took place was in 2005, after a failed referendum when the then President Mwai Kibaki fired his ministers. At the time, President Kibaki announced that he would run the government with his vice Moody Awori together for two weeks before naming other ministers. For what's next, however, the president has hinted at a broad-based government setting. A broad-based government that will assist me in accelerating and expediting the necessary, urgent and irreversible implementation of the program that we have. After his swearing in, President William Ruto took 15 days to unveil his cabinet. And now all eyes are on the president as he prepares to announce his new cabinet and the additional measures he has promised. Sheila Chalangat for TV 46.